Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Thorin's Hall in the inn. We have a bag of geodes. I guess we can... or box rather. I can get a pristine geode. I'm not sure exactly what we can use those for. What can we use them to... You? Oh, I better repair my stuff actually while I'm here. Um, can we, can we Greetings, use them here? Up. Oh, we can oh, get four tokens out of it. Oh, that's cool. We can get cracked once, we get one, we get pristine, you get two, and then you do that, and you get three. So I'm guessing it's just an easy way of getting some extra stuff, and we are so close, actually, um, to, to getting that out. And that means what I'm going to probably do, depending on how long this takes, again, I've got the, um, the, the list up on my other screen uh, to make this easier. I'm going to head back to the festival grounds and uh, see if I can, I'm most likely able to, you know, um, you know, with the pumpkin I had, you can probably do the same with those. Because I've got a, a small pumpkin, I think. Yeah, so I can probably get one out of that, but... Either way, yeah. I can do that, like, every hour, I think. Yeah, every hour. I can get potentially one to three tokens. So that's actually really cool. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> moving on from that. Uh, we have this. And we are so close, I've just realized, from that. 54. We are six away, so this and one more quest away from away from doing or getting that really nice horse that we want so uh also apparently my uh one of my plugins uh, the rich plugin i should probably uninstall that considering it's uh only useful during the treasure hunting mini game but yeah um yeah that's apparently bugged up but yeah uh, <laughs> either way i have the list of the four things we've got whistle mock drink and flex and we are going to go and do that and hopefully uh it's fairly easy to get Done. So starting off uh, near the dancing area. Where's the dancing area? That would be. Where's the dancing area? Is it in? Is it in one of these doors? In theory, that's a festival thing. Maybe it's in this door. Your standing is too low. So where's the dancing area? Oh no. Okay. So the. The, the dancing area is there and it's where the guy is, but the laborer is up here. Okay, so slash whistle. You can't help him, but chuckle at your attempt to please him. And we can't really do much with that. Okay, so next one is going to be Mock. Townsperson in the central here, hall uh, near the hunter trainer in the Hall of Kings. So I probably should have just like carried on going that way, but... Oh, it looks like someone is uh, is t streaming on Twitch. I might have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check that after this episode. Yeah, we'll see. Um. Right. So near the hunter trainer, which could be any. Like this is. <laughs> this is gonna be like one of my least favorite places to go, just because. I don't know where anything is, except I do know where this guy is because I see him, but, um, slash mock got that one. I feel bad. I'm mocking him. Looks more mournful than before, but everybody around is, is pleased with your trick. Um, then we have drink townsperson in the maker's hall, Neil mark maker's hall. Oh, maker's hall is this area. If I didn't get stuck, this should be the maker's hall. If I remember correctly. And the last one's going to be in the forging hall, which is going to be up there, so... Makes sense, yeah. So, Maker's Hall. You are near the woodworker. Here you are. And you are slash drink. Dwarf, dwarf gives you a resentful stare, but the nearby guard is amused by your trick. Oh. And then we have to come over here and do slash flex. In fact... Instead of putting W a ton... Let's get it ready. Here he is, I see him. And now we can talk to Guthlag in the Thorin's Hall Inn, or wherever it's supposed to be called. Which will uh, be fairly easy. We can actually quite easily get to it just by traveling down this area. Instead of having to... I, actually, I forgot that this even exists. And apparently you can't go over it normally on a horse, which I guess is slightly the point of it. Uh, because you're not supposed to come down here on a horse, but you thought they'd at least, like, allow you to get over, then dismount you. 
probably just a, an issue that nobody ever really pays attention to, so... <laughs> Either way, um, next we just have to come over to talk to the trickster. Gonna do that. And then, uh, yeah, these guys are L Association members. Never really done the L Association, don't really care too much for them to be there. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll get that a, a little... Uh, oh, does, do I have to be... Yeah, you have to have a quaint standing with the L Association. So, the interesting thing with the L Association is that, like, and the in-league, is for every quest you do for either side, you gain 900 reputation but lose 500 with the other. So what you can do is do them in unison, you'd be gaining 400 each time. Um, so you can actually have them level, which is quite nice. Um, but I did say I was going to go back to Bree. So I'm going to do that and see how much we can sell this pumpkin for. Because um, that will be interesting. And uh, otherwise, I think, you know, that's probably going to be it for this uh, episode in Thorin's Hall. It doesn't look like they have much on other than the in-league stuff. So, uh, yeah. Other than, obviously, as well dance stuff, which we will get to at a later point. We'll probably do all the dance stuff, I think, in one kind of bundle episode, because I never actually got to do it here, because I didn't realize it was on here, and I also never got to do it um, at, I think, Doolon either, so. Uh, but either way, I don't know why I'm coming out this way. Uh, I'm going to travel to Bree, uh, the festival area, and see uh, if I can sell this pumpkin for probably one, I'm guessing, uh, is how much I can trade it for, but we'll have to see uh, what we can get out of it. So I'll see you in a second. Right, so I'm assuming it was the Games Master I talked to, I think it was, um, Hello, that we can do this can for. So yeah, again, something? the Beaver Festival Mask, what we can get. I'm going to see if I can actually get those. Those might be kind of cool to keep, but again, the issue with these sort of things is that I don't have that much space to have just random cosmetics lying around the place, so uh, unless I just get some more with some turbine points or whatever, or I just kind of just stop, you know, getting them, uh, we'll have to see, but yeah. As I suspected, small pumpkin for one, we got a medium for two, and then you got a large for three. So we're going to do that for one uh, in about an hour, or just under, how much is it? 40 minutes, we can do this. So in 40 minutes, we'll be able to pick up another pumpkin and do that. Um, which actually gives me another point. I might go quickly to the party tree to see if there's a thing there, and when we go to Doolom, I'll also do whichever one they have there, uh, but I'm actually going to check at the party tree if they have something similar. Um, but, for now, we're at 58. Two more to go, and uh, maybe we can get that from the, the party tree if it comes down to it. Or, we're just going to get it from doing the trickster, th uh, trickster quest at Doolong anyway, so we will hopefully today be able to get that really, really nice um, steed that I was talking about. Not necessarily going to use it a lot, considering this is a nice looking steed and has 68% speed and also has 250 morale. But, uh, might be an interesting one just to take some nice relaxing trips on. So, especially for this time of time of year when you've got Halloween and pumpkin-y stuff as well. But yeah, I'm going to quickly go to the pipe tree, see if anything like that happens, and I will see you in a second. It would make sense that I was talking about these apple tubs a little while back and these are actually what they seem to be. So, let's have a little dig into here one medium apple so what can I do for you this we're gonna get two out of that which means we have 60 which means we can get the horse which is really cool but but we're not gonna do that today we're gonna do that at the beginning of next episode and this is gonna be what we do I think it'll be a bit more interesting to do it at the start of the episode where it's kind of a bit more as uh, shown because it's, it, you know, then it kind of guarantees that everybody that watches that video knows rather than everybody that watching this video might not make it to the very end. So we'll, we'll do that next episode as a little bit of a starter. It'll be pretty interesting. And then we'll probably carry on using that one for the rest of the uh, time. I'll have to rearrange some skills. Um, these are all 68, so I'm keeping these up here, but I might take away this summer kite and stuff like that and just rearrange a few things anyway. Kind of these doing. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go buy a horse, and uh, carry on some more quests in Eridluin. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and bye bye